I've been developing my 2D fighting game for almost a year now, but the progress so far has been minimal, so I decided to prototype every character action that I have planned without getting stuck on perfecting everything. Also, it's been a while since my last devlog. When it comes to the character actions, there are mainly 4 categories, movement, offense, defense and grabs. And today, we're working on the movement system. Are you surprised? Before I... <sighs> now, where was I? Before I started working on the movement system, I made a couple of quality of life improvements to the game. First, I added collisions to the game. Now the characters feel like they're actually there. Then, I added a dynamic camera. It makes the game feel more alive. Starting off, we'll tackle the dash. More specifically, the forward dash. I found a very cool tutorial by this guy named Technical Programmer. He looked kinda familiar. And after following the tutorial, I was able to get the dash working. Kinda. He only dashes once. But since I was following my own tutorial, I mean a uh, technical programmer's tutorial, I was able to fix it right away. Now we need animations. After creating some and adding some code, this is what we got. It's buggy, alright. Hang on, this won't take long. And... Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f Okay, it's done. No more bugs. We can already forward dash. Time for a back dash. But before we can backdash, we need a turnaround animation to give the player enough time to input the backdash. Here's what it looks like. Yep, it was that easy. Definitely didn't take me over 2 hours to get it working properly. But we have a problem regarding the backdash. Zero only has the animation for a forward dash, not a backdash. But no worries, allow me to show you what I call a MacGyver move. Using certain poses from the forward dash, I was able to get something that sort of looks like a backdash. Pretty awesome, am I right? Okay, we're running low on time, so it's about time we start sprinting. Oh my God, Get it? Because oh, yeah, it's next on the list. Man, the, the character, man, he's gonna... So, 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 with all the movement options I've done before, this one should be pretty easy, right? Right? Oh my God, no way! Uh -uh. I ain't doing this again. Start sprinting. Or else. I'm joking! Stop! 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 Sometimes, you need to teach your game a lesson. Another thing I implemented is a crawl, which is when you move while crouching. Sorry, our budget is low, so we don't have any animations. At this moment, I realized my code was getting messy. Uh. So, I decided to do a little cleanup. Starting with this line right here. And... Okay, but for real, I had to clean up my code. Because I wanted to look at clean code like this and say... Also, this was pretty easy to do. Definitely didn't take me 3 days to get everything done. Now, back to the movement. Next thing we need is a consistent jump height. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that this is a very old problem I have with my game. So it's about time we end it for good. And after a couple of hours of scratching my head while looking at my computer, we now have consistent jump heights. Before this, you would decide the jump height by yourself, but now the game decides for you. Another cool movement option I implemented is fast fall, where the player falls fast. Oh my god, no way! After that, I decided to go back to one of my oldest movement options, which are the wall interactions. But Anderson, you already have wall interactions. What else do you want to do? Improve them. That's what I want to do. And I did! You won't be able to notice it, but when it comes to the input, they feel way better to control now. There are two more movement options that I want, but I can't make them right now because of <laughs> various reasons. <laughs> Which means, that's pretty much all we have to do! On my next devlog, I'll be tackling the attack system. Yes! We both know the attack system will be very hard to implement. And if you want to know just how hard it will be, check out this devlog where I implemented a 3 hit combo system for my game. And if you like this video already, have a chocolate milk. It's tradition over here. And as always, stay awesome.